Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Now, I didn't show this off last time, but over here, if you can see, it's um the Mobile Game Corner, which is basically just, you know, you spend your money to earn coins and, you know, just play games and then you can exchange your coins and um, trade them in for some prizes, most notably TMs, which we're not going to touch on this because, you know, I don't think it's important, but I forgot which the TMs are, but I'll list them up on the... Um, on the screen right now to see which TMs you could get and uh well here is the route 17 we're gonna have the daycare man and then you know I'm the daycare man we take care of precious Pokemon and, you know basically for each um if you look at Pokemon here for each step you take um that Pokemon in the daycare gets one experience point so uh, yeah if you leave a Pokemon there for a long time uh expect it to be pretty strong afterwards now one thing that I noticed is that a lot of my friends are telling me and I didn't even know this until like one of my friends pointed it out. They're all like, "Hey, dude! Like, you told us you're gonna tell you you you're gonna give the audience like a better description of yourself. You know, you're gonna tell us like, you know, things about your life. You know, like have the viewers get to know you more as a person." And I was just like, "Oh yeah, true." So um, what I'm gonna do? Well, I mean, I don't know. Oh, let's see who's this. Oh, hello, Eloy. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a Pokédex. Now I can get in touch with you anytime you like. Click. All right, I guess. All right, we registered re registered registered Wally and Pokédex. But yeah. Um, there's a lot of battles coming up, so, um, guess, you know, you know, my friends just obviously think I have stories at the top of my head, so, um, well, this time, I do. So, let me tell you guys a story while I battle these trainers, and I'm gonna do a separate recording because I cannot multitask, that's why I don't play Pokemon Go anymore. But yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is the story about how me and my friend Ryan got caught doing the funky terrible with two girls. So, I was dating this one girl, Avi, right? But, you know, she lived in Narnia or some shit because I wasn't able to see her all that often. Thankfully, my friend Lisa was, like, best friends with her, so Avi was at her house that night. So, since Avi's only around once in a blue moon, me and my friend Ryan see this journey, decide to set out on this journey to this one town, or city, whatever it is, named Hegwish. Mind you, me and Ryan live all the way on the east side of Chicago, so this was, like, possibly a 40-minute mission on bike. Possibly an hour because Ryan was using a skateboard. So, we're setting off on this journey to the center of the earth at 11pm at night, freezing our sacks off until we finally reach Lisa's house. So, we sneak in. Yes, you heard me. Sneak in. Because we didn't want the mom catching us or some shit like that. So, you know, night's lit. I'm getting my knob slobbed on like corn on cob and- Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. And I don't even know what Ryan was doing, but I'd assume the same thing. Now, at a solid 2am, Avi tells me to hide. And I was just like, what the fuck? I'm, bro, my eyes just turned into Spongebob. Spo the fucking caveman Spongebob really quick. Ryan goes to the closet. So I thought to myself, this basement doesn't really have that many hiding spots. So might as well, right? So I joined Ryan and I look down and I see this man's penis. And I know this dude got spooked because an erect woody should not debone that quickly. Now, my ass was mad as hell that I had to see that. Next thing you know, Lisa's mom catches us. And I was just like, fuck, game over, man. Game over. So we get up, we start packing up, and it was literally dead silence, and all you could hear was just a solid five minutes of just, Hey, yo. Uh, oh, Ryan, can you uh, pass me my book bag? Yeah, Ryan, can you, do, do you have my hat, Eloy? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's over here. Hey, uh, Eloy, can you pass me my charger? So, we just get kicked out, and we're stranded in Hedwish, cold as fuck outside, so we started calling a bunch of people who lived around there to help us out and let us come over. So we call up my wrestling teammate, Jimbo, and he told us to come over. While we're on our way. The police pulled us over. Now, these cops were pretty cool. They weren't mean. So I just, I was just going to tell them, you know, we're going to our friend Jimbo's house because we got kicked out. You know, I was just going to tell them the truth because, you know, that's the one thing you should do to police officers nowadays. Well, I don't even know if that counts nowadays because they're too busy shooting black people. Oops. Looks like I'm going to start a controversy on uh, my comment section. Um, so, yeah, we were just, I, I was about to tell them that, but no, Ryan started lying to them a lot. He was just saying like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to my house. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna go because my little brother's gonna open the door for us, and I was just like, "Fuck!" Ryan's not even older than Jimbo. What is he talking about? But yeah, um, and then while we're in the car on our way to Jimbo's house because they were gonna drop us off, all of the lies were coming back to to bite Ryan's ass cheek, and they ended up taking him home. So I just spent the night at Jimbo's house while Ryan was getting taken away home, and I was just like, "All right, fuck." Rest in peace, Ryan. Fucking Ryan World. Ryanville. So, I just spent the night at Jimbo's house. So, at 9 a.m. the next morning, I start heading off. And I shit you not, it was even colder than last night. So, 
uh, to survive by stopping my bike to warm my hands by putting them on my ball sack. By the way, that's a new life hack for you that I learned. If it's cold out, put your hands in your nuts. So I make it to the local Wendy's for food. And while I was eating, I was asking myself what my life is. And that is Floppy Dick Tales. We're back. You know, sorry I had a freaking, uh, make, make an extra audio file to tell you guys about my Floppy Dick Tales. But while I was in the middle of all these battles, uh, Gordy from last time showed up. Hello, <laughs> how are you? Oh, yeah. I also masturbate. Oh, uh, hell no, funny as hell. <laughs> they already know who you are, Gordy. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing really too interesting over here in Bird and Chip Town, I think, so, like, the only thing that's really interesting here is, um, oh, first off, I guess Wally's over here. Wally? Yeah. He just called me, like, a, like, a few, like, Oh, I thought we were talking about Wally, that motherfucker from that Disney movie. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> when he was, uh... Looking like Rob and shit from Smash Brothers. <laughs> Together with my routes, I will challenge you to make him become great fan. He's watching me, but I will get stronger than you, and when I do, we're gonna challenge you to another battle. Um, you know, alright, I guess. And I guess there's just like wallies. I guess we get slum. I think we get sludge bomb here. Uh, no, I'm just talking. And over here, um, you can just act if like your Pokemon likes you and also, you know, likes you quite a lot. You know, this is a good thing to like get happiness up. And Gordy's showing me a meme. 20 minutes into Netflix and chill, <laughs> chilly diddly, and she gives you this licky reno. <laughs> oh god. So that's me so I can show everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh god, but yeah, um, nothing really, like, I guess just over here. Um, if you go over here, you can get, I believe you can get black glasses, right? You know, it's magic looking for the glasses, but you know, whatever. Let's keep the glasses. And Kanye out here looking like Karen, alright, I'll put that in, I'll put that in too. Alright, sorry about that cut right there, alright, just had to get this battle rolling. And next yeah, thing, nothing really too special. And well, while and Gordy's just watching memes over here. <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, dance theme compilation. And you just want to use rock smash over here. And what is that? <laughs> Bro, what the heck? And. In honor of just getting oh. Rock Smash out of the way, he gives us strength, which um, <laughs> uh, which uh, isn't much. So yeah, we need you guys back at Marvel City to head out more into the field here. It's just a double battle, but I'll battle those later for off-screen things. I really don't want to do those right now. And over here is basically just like a battle tower, but like shitty. So um, never mind. You can't even enter it right now. It's like under construction or some shit like that. And is that a TV continued meme? Mm -hmm. I think it was. It's like where he bites his hand or some shit, right? <laughs> Ow. Alright, now over here, hello, I take you where you're traveling. How's this? We're just gonna do like a rotation of battles just to <laughs> battle them, so yeah, I'll probably just like speed this up too. Farts beat as one. The Hamilies farts be as one. I misread that so bad. Oh, I think Trevor Conroy did that exact same thing. And I'll probably put a video right there in case you actually did do one. Here, Hamilies farts. Be the Hamilies farts beat as one. 
The family's hearts beat as one. The win straight's out. So yeah, we just talked to him over here, and there's no question if he's fine. But if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any family the family knows. He must be the challenging the lead champion right now. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, basically, we're just gonna not play a significant role later on, but I mean, it's just gonna, like, I mean, it's just gonna be like a nice Easter egg. You'd be like, oh, yeah, they mentioned him. Yeah, nothing really much of him. Right? Oh my god, dude, Joanne and Michelle are the same. And, alright, we're gonna use Frog Smash over here, and. In the next episode, we're gonna be heading out north. See you guys then. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep out in there!